We are here at BeautyCon with Megan Pormer. Yes! So good to so see you. Thank you for having me. This is super exciting. Yeah, we're live. You know, BeautyCon is, uh, it's, I've always been so fascinated by BeautyCon. In 2016, I bought a ticket to come in as a general like visitor. Yeah. 2017, I was a host on the carpet. 2018, I walked the carpet. And finally, this year, I was able to speak on a panel. This is this it is so for you. This yeah. is amazing. Thank you. Thank this you. This is so your much. moment, and you look amazing thank you tell thank me about you. this fit what's well, happening here well, before coming to beauty con i asked all of my followers what looks they want me to they want me to wear for them yeah. because this is all for the fans all for the people that have been supporting me and then i had this fantasy of a purple hair and a golden dress and this is why lulu's a hair an amazing middle eastern That's designer beautiful. yeah so i picked a couple of outfits Showed it to my followers, and this is what they picked for me with the hair and everything. I love it. Thank you. Thank you are you so, so busy. You have your PhD. Thanks. And yeah. you also just got back from Vegas yes. for Tana and Jake's wedding. Yes. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, so I go from a cancer research laboratory yeah. to Jake, Paul, and Tana's wedding. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's really exciting. A crazy for me. life. So my goal in life is to connect the medical industry with the entertainment industry. Yeah. And I'm trying to be as active as I possibly can because I want to use my platform in the entertainment industry to raise awareness about cancer prevention. Yeah. So basically, I manage my life between um, staying, trying to stay on the forefront of all the cancer research, and then I travel around the world, present the newest research and new developments in the cancer um, yeah. world, and also I make sure I'm tuned in with all the weddings, all the stuff, yes, yeah, all the stuff on, on the social list. media, uh, fashion shows, uh, different award shows. So I try to balance both. I really yes. enjoy it. Do you think that marriage is going to last? Well, I hope. <laughs> Well, I hope it lasts a long time, but, you know, I think they both got, you know, so much excitement out of it that I think they're happy, you know? Right. Well, one way or another, they got they yeah. got what they wanted out of it, which was a lot of excitement, a lot of PR, a lot of happiness. So I yeah. think, yeah. So it turns out it's not fully legal. They didn't sign any docs. So, <laughs> yeah, they got at least they got that out of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so also you... I saw that... Um, you talk to Paris Hilton yes. and you give her medical advice. Yes. What is that all yes. about? What, what so do you tell her? Paris has been a, a wonderful sister to me. She's always yeah. been. And she always, we travel around the world together. She always, she's so kind. She always asks me for styling advice, wellness advice. Yeah. And yeah, we always bounce off of each other to make sure that we look on point, the makeup's on point, like wellness on point, medically, like we know if there's anything we need to take care of. Yeah, she's a, she's a sister to me. I love her. Yeah. yeah. And like what tips would you give that you give to her? to your fans out there uh, for her since she has a really busy schedule I always tell her to make sure that she she eats what something that would really nourish her body and she stays active not just when she has her meet and greets and like the fan yeah. meeting but making sure that if we get time in between I'm, I always make sure that she's fed she, she does a little whatever it's, whether it's a dancing or yeah. a little workout or whether but whether anything that we can fit in She's naturally always in great shape, but I always want to make sure that she's also happy, both emotionally yeah. and, you know, because she works so hard. So, yes. yes. And so do you. You are a busy woman. Yes. Do yes. you have any makeup lines or anything in the future? Come. Yes. I, as a teenager, I personally struggled to uh, cover, camouflage all of my teenage acne. And also at the same time, I was trying to use my mother's foundations because there's no makeup line that's specifically for teenagers. To this yeah. day, when you Google, every makeup line that is used for teenagers is basically for adults. Yeah. So I finally came up with a makeup line that's an anti-acne tinted moisturizer with Ooh. SPF oh. that it gets rid of all the teenage acne at the same time it gives you a nice wow. coverage like foundation so they don't have to use their parents makeup they don't have to try to hide their blemishes with things that like not good clog for their, their skin. pores yeah yes and clog their totally. pores that's yes. right you have a phd so you know what you're doing yes yeah <laughs> that's when the phd comes in handy yeah totally well thank, thank you. you so much megan you are an, just so much an thank enigma i don't know where you came from but you are beautiful and <laughs> you have a you. great story like you're in makeup you have your phd you're educated. 
we thank all love you. My it. message is beauty from the inside out. Totally. The same way that we take care of our beauty when it comes to makeup and skincare and our outfits, we got to make sure we take care of it from inside. the inside too, both making sure that we're staying healthy and also make sure the head is clear and the heart's happy. Amen to that, girl. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Stick to the stream. It. We'll be thank here you. live all day.